This is the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus, one terabyte version, and it is a phenomenal drive, in theory. In this video, we're gonna talk about why it's in theory, look at some stats and uh, what you should be looking at before you buy, and of course, if you've purchased it and you're having issues, this video's for you. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos and today we're talking about this awesome drive. In theory, awesome drive. And it, it, it starts off as awesome. It does what it's supposed to do. Now, this is a Gen 4 drive. It is supposed to reach the speeds stated on the box and sequential, 7,000 megabytes read, and then of course 5,000 megabytes write. The uh, two terabyte version goes up to about, I believe 6,000 megabytes uh, write, which like is phenomenal if you think about it. And uh, overall, this drive does great when you first install it. Now, my story took me down a big rabbit hole where I ended up buying a whole bunch of different drives, like the Samsung 980 Pro, and of course the uh, SN 850 by Western Digital, I will link the videos below to all of those, including the comparisons. Um, and the idea here is, why did I go down the rabbit hole? Well, firstly and foremost, the experience I've had, uh, specifically with the company. And I've gotten to the point where I don't trust this company at all. I don't trust the, the drive. I don't trust the company. And uh, the reality is that it's, it's specific to what you're doing with this drive. And for my specificity, it wasn't what it was meant to be. That being said, how do we get here? Well, I like you, I was probably, you know, in that zone of not knowing what to get. I started researching for the new rig. And uh, at the end of the day, I found like these drives and they were like 20 or 30 bucks cheaper than the Samsung and the Western Digital. So I thought, you know what? Let me try this. I'm a, I'm a hardcore believer of Samsung when it comes to drives. They've never failed me, and why not? So I went and purchased one of these one terabytes. Now, uh, the idea was I was going to get the first generation of these, which uh, were not with the plus on them, and those ran at 5,000 uh, megabytes per second read and 4,000 to 4,500, I guess, right? Uh, now, uh, uh, at the time, I wanted to buy the four terabyte. I was like, oh, my God, it's half price. It was about... Uh, Black Friday uh, going into um, you know Christmas season and I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it and then they sold out so I ended up uh, buying a 500 megabyte one I returned it and I bought this one um, and you know I was super happy I installed it everything was great I was seeing some issues along the way and these issues caused me to be skeptical but I was like okay I'll test it as we go and we'll figure it out maybe it's the RAM this that however my 9060 Evo died and i was like man and after picking up a western digital one two terabytes and i'm plugging into the computer i realized this had an issue now when you are going through this you will get into the hype and uh be all excited you will open this up and you will be like oh my god attention to detail the marketing for this company and everything they've done is superb and and they've gone uh through the idea of hey uh let's focus on the uh, marketing, let's focus on the customer, getting them out to the hands of people. And they're going all through Amazon because um, you can't really find it in uh, many stores. And the reality is that at the end of the day, all the reviews were great. Even the reviewers who build rigs were great. They were like, oh my God, this is like the fastest drive. It's great. And yes, it's cheaper. So you get on this hype, you get on the excitement. You're like, I want it. And you buy it. You throw it in the computer. It's doing great. But then you realize a slowdown will occur. And this is based on not just me, but all the reviews I have now seen and all the complaints I've now seen uh, since uh, researching all this. Originally, I didn't research because, you know, I went online, I saw the Amazon reviews, they're good. I didn't look at the ones, twos, or threes because I was so hyped up from watching all these other people review them and tell us how good they are, and here we are. Now, um, the idea here is that I will not be keeping this drive. I, there's no way, I'm sending this back, um, and, and the interaction with the company has been uh, nothing but, you know, uh, horrible, I would say. They don't care, they're just kind of like, uh, there's nothing wrong with the drive. Maybe it's your computer kind of thing. But let, let's let's show you all of this and show you the stats and show you everything so you understand what you're getting yourself into. And if you've already bought one and you're having similar difficulties, um, maybe what to do about it so you know um, you know what you can do and what you can't do. 
Now I did do testing on uh, several drives. I looked at a 45 gigabyte fo folder with uh, all 4K videos, same with a 90 gigabyte folder with all 4K videos. I did a B-roll with 20 second uh, clips in it uh, to the tune of 85 gigabytes. And then I had uh, two folders with a lot of photos, uh, video 1080p, and then I added 4K into the one. So we had 122 gigabytes and in one folder, and then uh, in the other one, 168 gigabytes. Now there was a folder with random files, 46 uh, gigabytes there, 46.6, and there's about 5,700 files in there. Now, when I'm looking at the stats and I'm saying to myself, okay, what is occurring uh, and how does this look? I really wanted to show like, hey, what are we actually doing here? And, and uh, the idea was I was going to do the initial tests, which I did. And what you'll see is that I was just looking at the speed. And then I thought to myself, OK, as I was talking to the company, I realized, all right, maybe just maybe I should do more tests and uh, that I did. And I did that with the 980 Pro that I purchased to test. And of course, the uh, SN, uh, SN uh, 850. So we're looking at these and we're saying to ourselves, what are the speeds? I'm transferring everything over. And what you will find is about two, three months into it and maybe even longer, depending on what you're doing, this drop occurs in the right speeds and it doesn't come back. Now, for some people, it has come back maybe after uh, several days to a couple months. That's what I've been seeing in people talking about it. Uh, or you would have to do what I did in format. And once you format, this gets refreshed and you're good to go. I originally thought it was something to do with the heat and maybe it has a heat issue. I put it into, uh, I tested it with and without a heat sink and it, you know, same, no issues. Now, what I didn't notice was uh, a lot of differences with the average response time. And this was something that was um, very noticeable when it was hitting like two or 3,000 uh, milliseconds. So that, that really put a damper on it. And uh, to really put this into perspective, when you look at the idea of how fast this drive can go, uh, it, it can hit up there. And, and it does a great job when it's working. It, it does do the job when it's working, no problem. Um, that being said, we do have the issues that occur. When looking at the stats, you will see a top and bottom. This represents where the SN850 two terabyte drive was on the motherboard. There are two M.2 slots. One goes right to the chipset and one goes right to the CPU. The one that goes to the CPU is the top one. It is a faster one. However, the speeds are negligible. It is still a little bit slower on the chipset one. So I did the tests for both ends. Now you might have this issue with your motherboard. Make sure you are checking that. Uh, the ASUS team uh, said they're looking into it further. Uh, however, the speeds were negligible and they're saying that it is more to do with the drives than it is with the system. Um, I somehow don't believe it from the conversations I'm having, but hoping it will be, get, be getting fixed. So I did do, do uh, two sets here. Now, when we're looking at the speeds, you can see that they are negligible. Like, I mean, these are seconds and they are negligible, especially with these smaller set of folders. Uh, we do see the spike with random, which is uh, logical. You will see this spike. Now we are writing in the blue to the Sabrin and in the red, we are writing to the two terabyte SN850. And you can see that the one drive kind of outshines the other one. Uh, and you'll say, well, maybe it's because it's on the top, uh, on the top slot and when we flip the slot uh, the the drives to the bottom is um uh, the sn850 you will again see the blue being the uh, two terabyte writing to the sabrent and the red writing to the two terabyte and we can see that the speeds are still consistent with the uh, sn850 drive being um, a faster drive that being said negligible if you're looking at the speeds, it's negligible. Where the problem occurs is that when you start seeing the slowdown due to caching. And when you see the slowdown due to caching, that is the problem that, you know, you won't get these direct results. Uh, just to put it in perspective with the rest of the drives that I was testing, the 980 Pro and the one terabyte of the SN850. And to put aside that thought process of the two terabyte, because it's a bigger drive, it's got more cache. Um, the thought becomes, okay, these should be equivalent 
And the, you know, the, in theory, these uh, these are seconds, and they're not that much of a difference. And I mean, you do see the drive. The Sabrent is not performing at its best when you get into the bigger size folders with more files in there. And you can see that it's consistent. It, it, the consistency is there. When we flip the drives, or, and this is writing now to the um, to the different set of drives where the other was reading, you can see that again. It is performing well with the right, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's not doing as well. There was a little bit of a, you know, inconsistency here with the 980 Pro. I'm not sure why. I ran this test a couple of times, and I, I got similar numbers. Very weird when I added the 4K into this big folder of 122 gigabytes. Uh, that being said, you can see the SN the the drive is running rather quickly. So whether we're looking at uh, the writing to the SN850 or we're writing to the one terabyte, uh, the SN850s are doing just a great job, consistent all across. Um, that being said, what happened with Sabrent? Well, when I talked to Sabrent, I attached everything. I showed them everything. I could show them that, hey, look at the drive. This is what it should be doing. This is what it's doing when the caching issue pops up. So this is within 100 to 200 gigabytes of starting to transfer. You literally start to see this issue and you start to, um, uh, to see it uh, right, like right away as you start to use the drive more and more. You, if you don't use the drive as much, you won't see this right away. So this is where people have issues like three months, six months down the road. Now, I started seeing this issue and you know, you consistently, the only way to fix this issue is to format. And I have to format so I can get the actual testing done to see how uh, this drive will perform with the different folders. And I send them their copies of what their drive is actually doing and how that looks. Um, and we're going back and forth and they start giving me the regular, you know, note that operating systems uh, is booting on this drive. Windows has several background processes at the same time. So that will, you know, uh, affect your benchmark tests, Do, you know, answer these questions back and forth. And just by the way, if somebody tells you that it's, uh, the, the background processes are not that heavy duty that are gonna affect the speeds. Uh, when we're looking at it from the perspective of me sending this big email, how disappointed I am, I tell them about the caching issue. After 55, 60% filled, I started noticing this. Then I started noticing is how much uh, you're sending over. And yeah, within 200 to 300 gigabytes, 400, you start getting up there, um, you start seeing this effect on most drives. And the, the effecto doesn't last that long. But with this drive, like literally, as you start to use it more and more, time goes by, it's one to 200 to 300 gigabytes, you start to see that. And you know, I did test with no windows on it, test with windows, I point all of this out to them, I show them more stats of what, you know, like I, I got it back up and I got it rolling and then this stops to happen so you can't even get it back even after you reduce it. Um, and then I show them the comparison with the SN and this 850. And once they did that, all of a sudden they're like, okay, the, it points to the rocket itself. Please share your PDF. We can start the replacement process and perform a drive inspection. Like, honestly, what do you mean by drive inspection? I'm telling you, I've only had this drive for a very small amount of time. If two, three months go by on a drive and you're having issues and the company doesn't want to help you out, you got an issue, don't you now? big issue with that company. And, and this is critical to know because the idea would become if I was showing you all this stuff and you're looking at this and you're telling me that is it's some kind of situation with your computer or you're coming up with any other excuse and I'm showing you now a drive with SN850 where we don't have any issues and I can literally bring up one of these images and show you the dips and show you where your drive in comparison to this drive is having issues and we know it's a caching issue, and we know there's all these reviews that are wrong, you have to sit back and really ask yourself, is this the company for you? Is this really the one that's gonna be there when your data goes down? Is this the one that you're gonna be struggling with or gonna be successful with? When my 960 Evo Pro went down, Samsung was like, tell us what's going on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Boom, here's your paper, go get a replacement. These guys, want me to send it in? What am I gonna do without a drive if I didn't have another drive? 
uh, 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 that's what's going to happen. I'm going to be sitting there and not knowing how to do my work. Are you kidding me? That's not how we do business. That's not, that's not how you, that's not what you need when you're working. Now, where does this fit in for a narrative of who should be buying one of these drives? And, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy one if you really want one, but for 30 bucks, don't cheap out on this. This is critical for one. Two, you know, you're looking at this and you're saying, who can buy this? Well, maybe if you're a gamer. Okay, what is the case scenario on one of these drives? Well, let's be realistic. This drive is literally good if you just keep it as a Windows drive and you never move more than 150 to 200 gigabytes to 300 maybe, depending on the drive and depending on the, you know, how, the, how it was created. Um, it, it, as long as you do, don't do that, then you're good. It'll run, you won't have any issues. Now, will the caching fill up eventually? I'm assuming so from the reviews that I saw. And if, you know, all the negative reviews and all the people complaining, that might happen, in which case you would have to reformat it, not a big deal. And, and this is where we're at. The idea becomes, what do you actually need? And if you are a content creator, if you're a business professional and you have a lot of data moving, this drive ain't for you. You're gonna be regretting this, you're gonna be crying about it, and guess what? When it goes down, you're gonna be going and spending more money to get one of the professional drives that are out there that makes sense. And that's the bottom line. Um, uh, honestly, if I couldn't return it right now, I would probably be giving it to my nephew who plays video games, and I'd be like, here you go, and you have your other drive in there so you can swap them out when you need to like, you know, when you notice that it's slow, just do a clone over, back and forth, you're good to go. That's all you'll be doing, and it, it, that's all I'd be doing, and that's all you can be doing, um, is to focus on that. You will need another drive, and this you can't fill this up at all. You can't do anything with this um, in that regards, or else your writing will go down, your speed for writing will go down, you'll have some instabilities with reading as well. And that's, and that's where we're at with this. The disappointment is epic. And if Sabrent is watching this down the road, um, this, is, this is because of how you guys responded to me, really. If you guys would have been like, hey, I'm gonna send this, send you, you a new drive right away. I'm not even questioning it. Hey, it might be over, even if it was over the 30 day period, and even if it was three months in, I'll send you a drive right away. You know, I don't want you to be disappointed. You know, th that's it. If that was the case, and even if that was the problem ended up being that it's this, I, you know, I probably would have asked my money back, but if I didn't get it back, I'd be fine with it because at least they tried in that manner. I understand everybody's got a business to run. However, you're misleading people when you have something like this where it's showing it's supposed to be doing something and you're telling me otherwise. That's how I feel about this and uh, that's how you guys should feel about it. When you're looking at your next investment in hard drives, you should not be worried about your data. You should not be worried about the length of life from it and you should not be worried about what will happen if a scenario occurs. Um, that's the bottom line. So think about it, leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think, what your experience has been. If you have bought one, if you're thinking about buying one, and uh, you know, what are you you're thinking differently now or are you kind of like, whatever, it's good to go. And uh, of course, um, you know, let me know what you think is gonna happen in the future with any upgrades that are happening with the uh, firmware to these things, what the expectation might be. And if you're watching this like six months later, eight months later, let me know if you had any problems or if any updates came and uh, should this be something we should revisit, you know, with another purchase and another test.